Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use your planner pages. So these can be blank pages that you have in your current planner or it could also be outdated pages in a planner that you never finished. So for me this was my mini happy planner and these pages were from 2018. If you did use all of these ways to basically recycle your planner pages you would end up with a home binder. So the first thing that I did was just use washi tape and I'm going to cover up the date. You could also use whiteout if you don't have washi tape and if you are using blank pages then of course you wouldn't need the washi tape. So one way you can reuse these pages is to create a journal or a memory book. So now that I've split my pages up into four different sections, I'm going to go in and just continue decorating. So on the very top section, I'm going to write down family time. The next section, I'm going to go ahead and write in thoughts or prayers that I have for the day or for the week. The third section, I'm going to write in gratitude. And the last section, I'm going to write in special moments. And this is a great way just to document things that you are grateful for and little things that you want to remember that you may not have room for in your weekly spread. Moving on to another option, I'm once again just going to use washi tape and cover up the dates for each of these sections. Now if you are using your blank pages, you could still use the washi and you could mark the edges so you know exactly where to find all these things in your planner. So the second way is to create a weekly goal map. For this example, we are just going to create goals for one week, but of course you could create goals for the day. For this example, I decided to split up the goal page into three different categories. So for the first category, I'm going to write down goals that I have for work. The second category, I'm going to write down goals that I have for home. And the third category, I'm going to write down goals that I have for my health. The very bottom, I am going to leave blank just for updates and other notes that I wanted to add in. So next we're going to create a family calendar. This is going to be similar to a perpetual calendar, but this is not going to be something that's separate from everything else. So we're really just going to focus on this year. So once again, I'm using washi tape and what I'm going to do next is go in and I'm going to start with the month of the year. So we're going to put January, February, March, and April, and then I'm going to go in and fill in family birthdays and anniversaries. So for me, a lot of times throughout the year, I go to just little gatherings at work and with family and I try new recipes and I really want to get the recipe so I can make it at home. So the next section that we're going to make is for recipes and these could be things that are your go-tos or they could be new recipes that a friend has made that you really want to keep track of. This way you can keep it separate from everything else, but you can still keep everything together. So 
the last way that we are going to reuse these pages are to create a contact list. Now I probably like most people do have an address book. It is quite large but it is something that I keep at home. So this way you can keep really important contacts with you anytime that you travel with your planner. These can be doctor's names, addresses, and fax numbers or they can be all work related. I think this is another great way just to utilize that extra space in your planner. So for each sheet of planner page you are going to start with a letter for this example I used letter A and then for the next page you would put in letter B. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. So I am going to show you completed examples for everything that we went over today. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did like this video, please subscribe. Come say hi on Instagram and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!